we can apply our notions of heat flow to applications in the home. Let's say I'm going to bake a cake in my oven, and I know it takes half hour to bring my cake to 325 degrees in my oven. Now, that's the minimum time it takes. I can't heat it any faster than that. What if two cakes are placed in that same oven? After that same half an hour, what will the relative temperatures be? Will they be higher, lower, or equal to that original 325? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at possible explanations for each answer. A, two cakes will heat twice as fast, so the final temperature will be higher. B, baking in an oven doesn't depend on how many things are baked, so the temperature will be the same. Or C, the same amount of heat is delivered, but two cakes absorb it, so they both will be cooler. Think about those three and make a selection. Let's look at baking cakes in an oven. Now, when you bake the first cake in an oven, the heat flow is similar to liquid flow. So what you have is a reservoir of heat in the oven that you deliver to the cakes. It's like delivering water through a spigot. And the flow is limited by the spigot. That is, the oven can only heat at a certain rate. It can only deliver a certain amount of joules per second. So the first cake demonstrates that flow rate. It says, how long does it take to raise the temperature to 325 degrees? Or in the water analogy, how long does it take to raise the height of a, of a flask? So if I put two cakes in, now nothing has changed about the oven. It can still deliver heat at that same rate, but now it has two vessels to fill. So the heat flow has to be divided between both of the cakes, and what you'll find is if the two cakes are equal, they'll come to about half the temperature in the same amount of time. So the temperature will be lower for those cakes if two are baked in the same oven. And you may have heard this. If you try to bake a cake and the recipe says bake at 325 for a half hour, that's how long it takes to raise the cake to 325 degrees, but that's for one cake in a standard oven. If you put two cakes or five cakes in that same oven, the heat flow will be distributed between all the cakes You'll effectively overload the oven. And you're not overloading the oven in the volume sense. You can fit the cakes in the oven, but you're overloading the heat capacity of the oven, the capacity for the oven to deliver heat to the cakes. So thermodynamics has its place in the home when you're baking.